It is cold outside. Oh, I'm so happy to be back home and where it's heated. <laughs> I know, I need to get my car heater fixed, but it's still a better alternative to walking home. <laughs> Mm. God, I loved tonight. I never know what to expect from a potluck, but I was so impressed with the way that you educated everyone on which of the three two buck chucks they should pair their potato chips with. <laughs> no, it's not silly at all. I think you're so intelligent. I'm always learning something new when I'm around you. I gotta say though, it's so satisfying bringing home an empty dish and to think I was worried about this recipe. <laughs> I just love cooking for everybody, you know, whether it's a big group or even a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah? <laughs> I was hoping you would take me up on that. That would be great. As far as right now, I could whip you up a late night dessert paired with a hot toddy. No, a hot toddy. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. Okay, so have you ever had a banana boat? It's super simple, but it's a campfire dessert. Fortunately, we have access to a working oven, so I'm not going to make you gather the firewood. However, would you start boiling the water for the hot toddies while we do some prep? Thank you so much. You are the best. Okay, first, bananas, as you probably guessed from the name. Um, we're gonna take our bananas and cut just the peel down the center. Yeah, see? And then you pull the peel apart a little bit and it makes a pocket. Perfect. From here, you can fill it up with chocolate chips, marshmallows, peanut butter, whipped cream, graham crackers, nuts, literally any kind of topping that you want. I don't think that I have all of those things, but let me check on what I do have. <laughs> because I know that I have whipped cream. As far as chocolate chips go, yes. And marshmallows are looking like yes. And everything else is a lie. I am so sorry. I don't have any of the other things I mentioned. Um, I hope that these will suffice. I promise you it's gonna taste so good. And if you don't agree, well, I guess you're just gonna have to fight me. No, that's gonna be a full on wrestle. Uh, you can't back out of it now. It's already spoken into existence. So rules are the rules, sorry. <laughs> okay, so literally all we have to do is put this on a tray, pop it in the oven, and wait till it gets all melty. You know, in all of our years of friendship, I don't think I've ever actually asked you this. What's your favorite dessert? Yeah, really? I, I think I made that for our first potluck together, right? <laughs> no way. I mean, shit, if I knew that that's what made it your favorite, I would have made it each week just for you. Wow. That's wild to me. That makes me... That makes me so happy. Well, how about next time you sleep over, we can try making it together? Yeah? Well... Now I've just got this craving. When's the next time you can sleep over? <laughs> Speaking of cravings, water's boiled. How strong do you want your hot toddy? A double it is. And after your ex showing up last minute to the party, ooh. I can keep them coming all night long just for you. But why did they show up like that? I mean, we only know them because of you. 
I want to know who texted them. I just feel like it's one of those breakup laws, you know? Like once you split, you get to keep on hanging out with your friends without having to worry about them showing up. Yeah, it would be different if you guys dated for more than three weeks, but we don't know them like that. Just what you've told us when they're not around. <laughs> oh, it's like each story gets worse and worse. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep on bringing it up, but it's so bad. It's just, I see that and I know you deserve better. and. I know you know that you deserve better than that. It's, you're you, you know? And I, I just wanna see somebody who is worthy of you and deserves you and um, yeah. Uh, speaking of bananas, our boats are ready. Mmm, I love the smell of toasted sugar. Wow, okay. Here's a fork. I want you out of the first bite. Now it is hot, so why don't I blow on it first? Okay, now try. <laughs> so, what do you think? I mean, I can tell you're enjoying it because... It is dripping all down your chin. <laughs> you know, you have one of the dirtiest minds I've ever met, but I intentionally walked into that one, so that one's on me. The melted marshmallow on your chin does make it look like you're fresh from eating pussy. I'm just saying, that's how I look when I come up for air. See, I can match your energy any day. How about I feed you the next bite? I know for a fact it's been a while since you've had something this good in your mouth. <laughs> no, if I were teasing you, I'd just ditch the fork and use these two fingers. <laughs> you wanna switch it up? Okay. <laughs> okay, you are gonna get chocolate all over my shirt. Stop. <laughs> what are you? No. No, stop. Go, go over there. You go stand over there. And, hey. No. <laughs> what are you? Okay, okay. I'm sorry for teasing you, all right? It's just, you make it very easy. <laughs> stop. Y you were chasing me in my own home. <laughs> I, I mean, there's nowhere else to go. I'm already in the bedroom. I'm just... No, no, no. You're not going to get anything sticky on my pillowcases, right? <laughs> a pillow fight right now. I just watched you down a hot toddy in under a minute. You, you think you're going to beat me in a pillow fight? You'd be wrong, but you're more than welcome to try. It's just that... Ooh, shit, fuck. We haven't even started yet. What? Why are your swings so hard? <laughs> Okay, it's on. You're going down. Mark my words. Yeah. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> See how it feels to be on the receiving end? <laughs> no, come back here. Come back here, you punk. <laughs> oh, shit. Watch out for my cat, maybe. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay, I'm calling it. It's a tie. Okay, um, I might have been losing, but that's not why. <laughs> it's just so late for this. <laughs> but I'd be down for a rematch sometime. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You know, I am sorry about bringing your ex up earlier. It's just... I don't understand how anybody could take you for granted. You are so wonderful to be around. And uh, 
I suppose another layer of this is I've always found you extremely attractive. Yeah. I don't think there's been a single conversation where I haven't gotten lost in your eyes or or stuck staring at your lips and thinking about kissing you. <laughs> kind of like I am right now. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. Laying next to you has me so turned on right now. <laughs> <laughs>